Hi, and welcome to the Turk and Scribe. It's Esther. Today we're making this cute little paper bag journal from a digital kit from Beauty and Books. Samantha put it out this month, and I'm on her design team, so I took in, you see all my stuff falling out of my uptook pockets. I showed you how I made this in the video, so I hope you're going to stay in I hope you'll stay and watch the video. Today I'm doing a little bit different. I'm going to preview the journal, the finished journal. So this is from, the kit is from Samantha at Beauty and Books. It is her cherry blossom kit that she's releasing this month. So I've taken and used a sub sandwich bag to make this. This is a half sheet. I got this from Samantha Casey, I believe. We were doing a swap for stamps and she sent me some of the most beautiful stamp stuff that I've seen. I have a little box in here that I made from the origami tutorial. that I will link below. I have a truck card here. These we get when we weigh our trucks at the, the weigh state at the scales. to see how much it weighs. Like we can't be over 80,000 pounds. So I am putting these in the journals now just because of my name, the truck and scribes. So I've been trying to, to collect some from the guys. This is another stamp from Samantha. I did this one. It's just a little card that I don't have anything stuck in yet, but it's a tag bookmark kind of thing. These pages are just pretty. Journaling card. I made that a while back. I have a little pocket Put some a Velcro dot on it. So I have decorated this a little bit. I have somebody in mind for it that I'm going to send. I haven't sent her anything in a long time and I was just thinking about her. So this um, belly band is made from a little piece of cardstock just like that. Actually almost the same size. It comes from the side of a box. I've got a couple little scraps in here. I did do one little, I did a few little cutouts, but my hands hurt, so I stopped. Another little pocket. This came from Samantha's kit last month, Victorian Spring, I believe is the name of it. I'll try and leave a link below for that one too. So all these in here have come from Samantha's kit. So I did, I cut out loosely some of these. I put this cute little sticker in here. So you can do an uptuck here if you have something smaller and just put stuff in this bag, in that pocket. And then here, I've got another uptuck. I just did a journaling card and decorated the front. I have some Tim Holtz fabric tape on there. I don't think I told you this one was a little, just a little extra sheet of paper. So I have sewn around all the edges. Looks really nice. I like how it turned out so much that Actually, I'm going to show you real quick. I made another one from one of my upcoming digital kits. It's going to be coming out in July, I believe, when I got it scheduled. So they're close to the same size, but what happened with this one is when it printed off, I had to trim some of the white off. So, and I was making this for me, and actually I got it upside down, Donna. 
So these are from my kit. Samantha and I are doing a collaboration. So this will be in that collaboration at the end of June. This is from Tracy Fox, I believe. I just made a little tuck spot there. This is stamped. And this is another Subway sub sandwich bag, Jersey Mike's, if you know who Jersey Mike is. This is from Samantha. And these just tucked down in there. And this time I did do the pocket at the bottom. I think I like that better. Have a little tag there. So I've decorated this one because I was going to keep this one for myself, but I'm not sure. So you got little bitty pages sticking out. This was in the stuff that Samantha sent me. It was either Samantha or Janet Casey, both of them. I got stamped stuff that, that time and they wound up in the same box. So just a little journaling card that I had laying around scrap. A little pocket to put stuff in. Like I said, I haven't finished it yet, but you can put stuff in the back right here, right there. Another little pocket. I need to put some. I just glued a big flower there. And back here, I have another tag that just has a little tuck. I haven't put any ribbons on it yet, but I might. So here's a pocket. What I did, since this was a little shorter than the other one, is I just folded that excess bag up and made another pocket. I like the way these two fold into thirds. I don't know why. And then you can do it either way. So you can put that on the top or this one on the top, whichever one you like. Same thing over here. You can put it that way. And I did try and make a little ledge on this one. I could probably do it with that one too. But I liked how both of them turned out. I hope that you enjoy the video and see how these how I made these. Have a great day. So I'm working on a cherry blossom digital kit that Samantha at Beauty and Books Co. has out this month. I'll leave a description below. These are just a few I'm going to put up in the top corner of a, the, the digitals for you to see really well. So I have a Jersey Mike subs bag. It's not that big when it's closed. Let's see. A little, almost four inches. So what I was thinking about doing is taking these and so they are printed to to a page and I printed on the back a full backing sheet. So I'm just going to tear it like that and fold it so that I have signatures. So I'm going to make a smaller journal today. And all I'm going to do is, you can see the lines on here where she has it two to a page on this side. I'm just cut them in half. I had more, but I'm not sure where they are. They printed out. Well, guess what? I do have some more. So these are um, the first pages. I had. I thought I had eight printed, but I don't know what happened. And they're all beautiful. So I'm just going to fold these in half. 
I like using my bone folder because it, it helps my pages go down a little bit. Samantha did a, a really pretty job on these this week. Now, one problem with my printer is that it didn't print on these last couple of pages. I don't know this one it did. One of them it was a half print, but I figured I'd just go on in here and put it in there. So I like small journals just to throw in my purse and stuff. You could use this for a traveler's notebook. I'm not sure which side I'm, size. I want to say passport, but I will look before I post the video so that I can tell you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide on which one I want on the front page. I really like this one, so I think I'm going to use it. Put this one in. Actually, I might go up and take. So, what I'm trying to do is just kind of separate these pages some. I'm just looking through here to see where I might put these last few. There's no rhyme or reason. I'm just sticking them in and trying to make a little bit of a difference. Okay, I'm going to turn this one around so it can be in the middle. So I'm doing a one signature journal today. Here's our signature on the light right there. Bag does not want to fold out like I want it to. Let's see how much room. Actually, it's a little bit long, so I'm going to open this up. What I think I'm going to do so, a little bit Put this on the front. So I'm going to cut this off, I think. Just fold it in as a pocket, but I think it's going to be better just cut off. So because I want this folded over up there. That on the front, that would look good right there. Just cut it down the middle since we already got. So, what I'm thinking about doing is this folding that up, and then this can come around and make another pocket right here, or even under. I'm going to leave this, I'm going to, after I cover this, I'm going to put this down and use it for like a tuck under there. So 
what I want to do first is figure out where I want this. I think I'm going to put it something like that to where it Let's see where, right about there. I'll give a little bit of an overhang. So what I'm looking for is I want to have like a, a little bit of a border. This is supposed to be the blue kind, but you know, it don't have no blue on it. I don't know what I'm worried about if I'm going to sew it anyway. Like I usually do, I just kind of hold it up, look at it, decide where I want it. I want it a little bit more over that thing. I'm not holding it my usual way this morning. Right here. Let me set it further there. This one I think I'm just going to put on all the way and leave a little bit of room here. So I just cut a big long piece for this. Here. Mm, this is not working for me. That's not a problem is my office is a mess today and it just is hard to work in for me when it's it's always a mess, but today it is more than usual. Let me see. Where's my book going to fold it up so I know where that's at? So if I put that right there, it will fold up. Do that, that would fit on um, perfectly right there. Yeah, I took my fish tank out and now my whole office is a little bit of a wreck. So now I want it to... Mm. Well, this is a work as you go thing. Okay. I'm going to show 
to keep that font and cover it up with some pretty paper, like a long strip. Or I was thinking about using some of this on the seams right here. Could use that right there too. Yeah. And so now I need to cover that part. I'm just going to measure it. That looks with it too. at that end. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to sew down here on the front, and I'll be back in just a few minutes. So that worked on a sewing machine. Let's see how well it looks. So what I need to do is stick this right here the other just a little bit. Cricket. I'm going to go ahead and try and cut that. Just so that our pocket can have a little working room. Try to cut a little bit towards the inside without cutting the bag. I like this double sided tape. I should have done all this before I sewed it on, huh? Probably. I just thought it was going to mess up the stitching. I'm going to have to put something to close that up there. Do I want it all the way down since I have that pretty? 
So you don't necessarily have to do all this third one. You could have just done your little thing and been done with it. I'm going to put a little piece right there. Just so it can be upside down. Huh? So I gotta run out for a little bit and then we'll be back to work some more on this. I don't like this a lot. I just put it down there like it was meant to be there. You could fold it either way. It turned out really nice and like it. Yesterday, for you a few minutes, a few seconds ago, I had this finished. So now I'm going to see what I can do for ephemera and stuff to go in. And I did do two little journaling cards. It can fit up in that tuck spot and if I had really thought about this I could have turned it this way that way they had pockets on the bottom but I just like the idea of the, the tuck spots on the top I did make a little origami box to go in it I just used instead of glue I stapled it I have a video I'll try and link below that I just did on origami gift boxes. This one could use a little more decorating. But. So these are the other prints that I got from the Cherry Blossom kit that printed out. These are three by five tags and some cut, fussy cuts. Some more of these pages. She also has planner pages in her journal her, her journal kits here's another one and you have little corner tucks some more journaling cards so this kit came with quite a bit So I usually, I have not been using boxes, so I've been dieting. And most boxes are a lot thicker than this. This is a thinner box. So I've been saving these and using them for journals, for journal tags and um, journaling cards. I'm going to glue these on here. Looks like I need to trim just a little more just because I'd like it to fit on there. So I've noticed the last couple of days that my microphone seems like it's echoing in here. I'm not really sure why. This is wet today. Wet, wet. So 
So I'm just trying to get the sides down where I'm on. So these I've got where I like sewing them, and I particularly like the zigzag stitch. I was doing the straight stitch for a long time, but I kept seeing everybody doing the, the zigzag, and I thought, I want to try that. So that's what I did, and I actually like it. I'm going to use this for a belly band. Just cover it and put it right in there. Let's see. Looks like these cards are going to be a good size for journal, journaling cards. You got a little left over for a belly band. So let's see. I think I want to use some pinks. I'm going to put the line side on the back. So I have a lot of index cards. See, I've got 100 here, 100 here. I have more of younger. I'm just covered up in index cards. I had used them for my studies to put notes on, and then now I have way too many because. You find one, you don't like it, you find them, you try another one, and I just wound up with a lot of them. Again, a little tuck or something. Let me turn it over, you got one of these. So I am trying not to waste this, but it really has to be so per perfect or anything. One thing I do want to look at is these. I think they're going to be a little big. Yeah, so I'm going to, after I get them cut out, I'm going to make them. Actually, I may do it. Let me see. I could do it like that, or I had enough room for a ledge. So that means you know, I need to cut this. No, I don't need to cut that. I have to talk about what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is put some glue on here. Turn this over. It really doesn't matter which side on this one. And I'm going to try and fit it like that. Which I put glue all over it, so I didn't want glue on my sides there. But I did want it to fold over. So maybe I need to put glue on the on here. Let me try that one. So I'm wanting this corner to have like an excess where it can fold over and give that pocket some more room. Especially with these smaller ones, that smaller book, that will be nice. And these index cards work just right. So I'm going to clip the corners just to get some of that off. I had a couple more. I'm just grabbing what's on top. It really doesn't matter. And for me to put it on this way helps because I can see the white. 
And I'm trying to leave like a quarter of an inch, maybe, maybe less. So I haven't decided if I'm going to... I may show the journal first and then show how I made it. Okay, I'm going to do one video with this, I think. Now this one's blue. Some of mine are white. I don't know why they're supposed to say blue, but and I'm not particularly a fan of those glue sticks, but I have them, so I'm going to use them. And then I also am going to sew around these. So I'm just going to trim my out. Try to get straight, but There. I'm not worrying about the edges, just this side right here because they're going to fold that in like that. So you only got one edge to cut. So I'm get these two. I think I can cut them on here. Again, I'm going to hold that over to the side for a Billy Band. So what I'm going to do is trim this where it's got a little bit of a hangover. And I'm going to take these and fold this in. Now, do a better job. This will give us an unflat pocket so that I'm going to trim those off. Nobody talking loud enough this morning. Uh -oh. so I'm definitely going to show you how I did these little pockets because they, well, I know they've been done before, but it just came to me while I was doing it. And that helped shorten some of the, the length, too, so it fit in my little journal. I'm just trimming them corner edges off. So this this is not quite as thick as some other cardstock, so I'm liking that. Let's go over here and save these real quick. I hope you have enjoyed this video on the cherry blossom digital kit that Samantha has from Beauty and Books. I am putting a flip through at the front of the video so you can kind of see what I did. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. It'd be great if you hit that like button, subscribe button, and leave me a comment below so that I know you've been here. You could just leave a little emoji or something and I'll know you were here. Thank you and have a great day.